guys! Welcome again sa ITS Information Technology Skills. Gusto mo bang mag BSIT? On today's video, pag-usapan natin yung most asked questions about BSIT. Sa video na to guys, pinili ko na lang yung mga ipopost natin dito na questions because most of the questions, pagkakapareho lang naman yung thought. So the first question is, galing to kay Sandro Francis Delgado. Ate, ano po bang strand ang kukunin nyo kapag BSIT ang iyong pipiliin? STEM or TVL ICT? Then, we also have the same question galing naman po kay Jean's husband. Tanong lang po, pwede po bang mag-IT kahit TVL kinuha nung grade 11 to 12? Okay, so before we answer that question, tignan muna natin yung mga subjects na pinag-aaralan sa STEM and ICT. Okay, so ito yung mga subjects na meron sa STEM na curriculum. Pwede nyong makita to dun sa deped.edu.ph. Okay, so dito sa may baba, sa may subject, i-zoom in lang natin yan. Those are the subjects for the STEM. Then ito naman yung mga subjects kay TVL ICT. Pwede nyo din tong makita sa deped.edu.ph. Okay, so ngayon, tignan natin yung mga subjects ng STEM. Sa STEM guys, meron kayong mga calculus, biology, physics, chemistry. Okay, so ang STEM, nagpo-focus yan sa mathematics and science. While dun sa TVL ICT, kung makikita nyo, meron kayong computer system services, illustration, computer programming, animation, and others. Okay, so kung papansinin natin, mas nagpo-focus ang TVL ICT sa computer services, okay? In which, ito din yung mga subjects or mapapag-aralan kapag kumuha kayo ng BSIT. Okay? So, sa strand, guys, I suggest, TVL ICT ang kukunin nyo kasi mapag-aralan nyo dito ang programming, animation, illustration, database management, um, basic freehand drawing skills, illustration and sound design, and of course, animation. Okay? So, plus sign kapag TVL ICT ang kinuha nyo. So, kung ang question nyo naman guys is kung pwede ba kayong kumuha ng BSIT na course kapag ibang strand ang kinuha nyo, some universities and colleges nag accept po sila ng mga kumuha ng STEM na strand para sa BSIT. Yung iba din naman, ina-accept din nila yung mga ibang strand. So, I suggest kung meron kayong mga questions regarding dun sa strand na nakuha nyo, kung ina-accept ba yun ng college or university na gusto nyo yung pasukan, visit nyo yung college or yung university na gusto nyo yung pag-enrollan. And then yung tanongin guys, kung ina-accept nila yung mga students na mag -e enroll galing sa ibang strand. So, next question tayo guys. Galing ito kay Jesus Rafael Rojas. Okay, so hello po. Ano pong course na focus po siya sa software or programming or coding? Okay, so ang course guys na nagpo-focus sa software, programming or coding is pwede yan yung BSIT, BSCS, kung minsan meron din yung BS Engineering. Okay? Pag IT po ba, pwede bang mag-specialize sa software? Of course guys, pwede kang mag-specialize sa software development kapag kumuha ka ng IT. Just like later on, kung meron kang isang programming language na gustong pag-aralan, pwede ka doon mag-focus and yun yung i-develop mo para sa skill mo. Okay? Kung hindi naman po, ano pong course ang kukunin po? Like, ikaw yung magde-develop ng applications, games, software, and programming in mobile. Okay? So, medyo mahaba yung question niya, pero isa lang yung thought niya. Okay? So, ang thought niya, guys, yung mag-develop ng applications. Okay? So, ang course, guys, na nagde-develop actually ng mga applications, games, and yung mga mobile applications natin is the BSIT. Okay? So, kung gusto mong maging developer, BSIT po ang course para sa'yo. Then next, we have question number 3. Ito naman po galing kay Juzu. Ate, pag BSIT po ang course, pwede pa rin bang maging software dev or engineering? Okay, so halos same lang to dun sa question number 2 natin. Okay, so tingnan natin ngayon guys yung focus ng isang BSIT student. Kapag ikaw kumuha ng BSIT na course, Ang focus mo dyan is computer utilization and computer software. Just like, ikaw yung magpa-plan ng computer software. 
magi install operate manage administer and maintain information technology infrastructure then maliban dyan guys meron ka ding design and development of computer based information system for real world solution okay so tulad ng sabi ko kanina ang um, BSIT guys it focuses on managing and developing software okay then we have question number 4 galing to kay Ken's Gaming Ano naman po ang similarities ng BSIT and BSIS? So, maraming nalilito sa BSIT and BSIS kapag nag -e enroll sila. Nagawan ko na to ng video presentation in which ilalagay ko sa taas ng screen nyo or sa my description box yung link about that video, the differences and similarities of BSIT, BSCS, and BSIS. But for this question, guys, tignan muna natin yung differences or yung pinagkaiba ng BSIT and BSIS. Okay? So, ito guys, nakuha natin to dun sa curriculum ng BSIT and BSIS from ched.edu.ph Dito guys, pinapakita niya on section 3 yung study or yung mapapag-aralan nyo kapag gumuha ka ng BSIT and BSIS. Okay? Then, on section 4, kung ano yung preparations ng isang BSIT student and the preparation ng isang BSIS student. Okay? So, kung titignan natin dito, guys, kapag BSIS student ka, it focuses on business processes. Okay? So, kung nalilito pa rin kayo, I suggest panoorin nyo yung video presentation about the differences and similarities of BSIT and BSIS na video natin. Okay? So, pag BSIT kasi, ikaw yung magde-develop ng program. Pag BSIS ka naman, ikaw yung mag introduce ng program dun sa mga businesses. Kaya meron tayong business processes sa BSIS. Okay? So, ang similarities niya, is dun sa competency standard ng isang BSIT, BSIS, and sama na rin natin yung BSCS student. Okay? So, pare-pareho po sila ng competency standard for the personal skills and interpersonal skills. For the personal skills, if you are a BSIT or a BSIS student, meron kang madedevelop na personal discipline skills, critical thinking skills, inter- and intrapersonal motivation skills, and others. Dun sa interpersonal skills mo, meron kang teamwork and collaboration skills, oral and written communication skills, conflict solution skills. Okay? So, those are the similarities of BSIT and BSIS. So, a continuation for question number 4, galing naman to kay Dez. Currently, a BSIS student. Mas unti po ba ang job opportunities sa course na to? Okay, so tignan natin yung career opportunities ng isang BSIS graduate. Okay, so if you are a graduate of BSIS, pwede kang maging system trainer. System trainer guys, ikaw magte-train nung mga employee dun sa isang business kapag gagamitin nila yung system. Meron din tayong support specialist. Alam natin to lahat. Ito yung mga tinatawagan natin kapag meron tayong problem sa isang device. Then, we have the e-commerce developer which is napaka in demand nowadays kasi most businesses gumagawa na sila ng mga e-commerce sites nila. Then, we also have the enterprise system manager. Ikaw yung magmamanage ng system ng isang business. Then, the business analyst. So, kung titignan natin yung career opportunities ng isang BSIS student or graduate, um, it connects with the technology and uh, business processes. Then, maliban dito guys, maliban sa BSIS students or graduates, pwede din naman tong maging career opportunities ng mga BSIT graduates. Okay? So, maliban dito, Ang BSIT graduates, guys, pwede ding maging computer and information research technologies, computer network architect, computer system analyst, information security analyst, and software developer. Okay? So, ito din yung other career opportunities for a BSIT graduates. So, kanduhan muna tayo, guys. Meron tayong magkaibigan dito. So, yung isa nagtanong, Bro, bakit ka nag-IT? Sagot naman ng isa, kasi balita ko, walang mat yun. 
Then here I am. What? Walang mat sa IT? Okay, so that is the question number five. Wala nga bang mat sa BS IT? So ngayon guys, tignan natin yung mga subjects sa BS IT. Nakuha natin tong mga subjects na to sa curriculum ng BS IT from ched.edu.ph So pwede nyo ding i-visit yung site na yon. Okay, so sa so first year ng pagiging BSIT mo, tignan natin kung meron siyang math. Okay, so dito makikita nyo meron tayong algebra sa first sem. Sa second sem, meron tayong trigonometry. Sa second year ng pagiging BSIT mo, sa so first sem niya, meron tayong accounting principles. Sa second sem, meron tayong probability and statistics. Maliban po doon, meron din tayong mga subjects na science in which alam naman natin na yung mga science meron ding math yun. Okay, so kung iniisip nyo walang math sa BSIT, that's a myth guys. Okay, wala pong katotohanan yun. Kasi there is a math in BSIT. So that's it guys, those are the questions na natanong po sa atin. Kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And kung gusto mo pang matuto about computer programming, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!